Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. And you already know from the title that we are gonna be prepping for 2025, though it is October 1st, 2024. It's okay, we got less than 95 days to put our plans in place to have a successful 2025 year. So if you guys don't know already, I do have the LVGM Agenda Planner that I honestly love. And this was the most that I've ever spent on a planner and I honestly have no regrets. This was my dream planner coming from a true stationary planner girly that does not make full content on planning. <laughs> I don't. I'll sprinkle a few in there just for my planner girlies, but I just wanted to share a little bit of my hobbies with you. And I do love paper. I do love colors and pens and I just love it. It's the Virgo in me. We just love organization, right? Or any tool that can help us with the organization. From the previous video, I did mention I purchased a Erin Condren planner insert, the life planner the colorful one they did release a 2025 focus planner that I was so tempted to buy after doing a little bit more shopping I was able to look at the Crossbro planner pages for 2025 and I fell in love for their new planner that just dropped I purchased it on Etsy it was shipped from the UK coming from the States I live in the DMV in Maryland and it came within like four business days it was so quick I was honestly so surprised on today's video I'm gonna show you what I purchased everybody has their own own style on how they do their planner like get stuff that works for you it takes a lot of trial and error to see what type of planner you want to become super successful but purchasing this LV planner which costs a lot and it's just the the binder itself forced me to use my planner every single day and I reached a lot of my goals because of putting things to paper that's why one of the first things that you see in my planner it literally says there's power into putting pen to paper. Just a reminder that when you write things down, anything can happen. So what we have here today is the 2025 crossbow planner insert pages. We're gonna get a full first reaction on what the pages feel like, what it looks like, is it worth it? I think I paid maybe $68 for this without shipping included. And then I also bought the 12 month goal setting planner insert as well. And then I also bought alabaster dividers with the gold writing. It feels so nice, like really, really great dividers. I wish they were laminated, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So if you're a planner girly, let me know what is your favorite part of having a planner. Let's get on to the video. I'm gonna show you guys firsthand what it looks like. Okay, so here is a close-up of the dividers. Very nice dividers. I'm gonna show you guys 2025 yearly planner. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Nothing, I'm just doing this quick oh. unboxing. All right, here it is. This is nice. So here's the yearly planner page. And then after feeling the paper, it's not as great quality as the Erin Condren. Let me show you guys an example. This paper quality is a little thicker than this paper quality. So this is an Erin Condren versus this. I feel like this page might bleed through versus Erin Condren doesn't bleed through. Just to throw that in there. This is cute, this is cute. Time to dream. Yearly overview. Okay, life in review. Relationship box, work and education, spiritual well-being, fun and recreation, health and fitness, finances. So consider the following areas of your life and rate the satisfaction from one to five. Making a few comments as to what is going well and where you would like to see improvements. Use these reflections to inform your yearly goal setting. Okay, that's cute. What y'all think? Okay, and then we got the bucket list here. Yearly goals, big goals to be broken down into actionable quarterly goals. Okay, 
I'm a fan. That is nice. Quarterly review for the year. So we got a gift page. So if you have any friends with birthdays and it says bought and sent, I just wanna make sure you guys see that part. We got the monthly tasks, a bill, that's cute. A year from today, you will wish you had started today. January's intentions. So these don't have the dividers. That's the reason why I bought dividers. So like for January, if this was for January, I'd probably put it like this for January. So we can start off like January as the tab. And then that's nice. Okay, so it's, it's pretty much black and white and you can add your own color to it. That's why it's kind of like a focus planner. And then, oh, okay. See, the reason why I picked this planner is because that it kind of gives you the happy planner vibes, the vertical planning. So that way you could put your stickers on here and it's not so like lined out. So this is perfect. And the boxes, I feel like I can utilize the boxes better than the line one this year. So shows goals, tasks on here for each week. So that's nice. We're not gonna go through the entire year, but I just wanted to show you guys what the insert looked like. Um, and then at the end, it has the monthly review, the wins, the gratitude, things to work on, and then for next month. That's nice, I like this. And then this would be for February. I think the only thing that if I had to change with the crossbow and planner is their pages. Their pages doesn't seem like super high quality like Erin Condren. So Erin Condren definitely gets the win on that. I'm not even gonna lie. But as far as aesthetic and planning, um, Crossbow has a win on that part too. So just wanted to share that piece. So everything looks pretty cut and dry for the following months. It's pretty the same as the years go by, as the year go by. And then you have the last pages. It's a master list. So maybe a master list of tasks. There's also a notes page. Okay. Oh, they give you actually a lot of note pages. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the goals insert pages just so you kind of can get an idea on what these inserts consist of. So it has 12 months of goal setting planner pages and it's kind of comparable to the one that is inside the life planner, the 2025 life planner, but it has like a future goals page, a life in review page and you know this is a great sheet for you for note taking they also have a priority planner page and yearly goals page so you can like set all your goals in one page and take notes for it okay so they got a breakdowns page here so it just you can list like your one goal and then break it down and then another page for setting one goal and then you breaking it down. So that's pretty cool. So it looks like there's a lot of these pages here that you can use, which is great for the goal planner. A lot of goal planner pages. It's also a weekly routine page. So for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like just a routine that you can inhabit on these sheets. I see they have like a ritual section. That's nice. Also a daily routine section, a quarterly goal section. So it's pretty much like the same stuff in each page, but you just have a lot to work with. So the aesthetic of this, it's just a little more classier. So we shall see. Because once I put everything together, this is gonna look really nice. You know, and then it'll be all right. Like every month, I do like this vibe. This is really cute. I just wish the paper was more solid. Like I'm coming from this type of aesthetic, <clears throat> which I will show you here. I'll put this on top. 
So let's close this. But for instance, let's go to December. Like the paper looks really, really nice. Let me zoom in. But the paper, look at that. This is very beautiful. You know, but to be honest, the, the lines were kind of throwing me off. Like I just, I was kind of annoyed by the lines. Like I want to make the colors like blue or pink if I wanted to. I don't want to have to be stuck with the green. I love color, but I just wanted the color to be on my behalf. So, but yeah, I hope this really helps you guys decide on which planner you're getting. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think of the crossbow planner versus the Aaron Conjun planner. Let me know what you guys have an eye out for for 2025 planner inserts for your GM agenda or just your planner overall. Um, I do like the Erin Condren's paper a lot better, but Crossbow Planner has more elegance, so you gotta give or take. And I already bought it, I'm not gonna return it, so <laughs> we're gonna make do. But if I do end up uh, not liking it throughout the year, then I may just purchase the Erin Condren and just finish halfway through Crossbow and then halfway through Erin Condren. So we'll see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in stationary content, let me know. Um, this is something I really enjoy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Happy planning.